down from as far as Canada and as close as Reedsville, over from Raleigh and Edenton, up from Fayetteville and Asheboro, across the country from California and from across the street in Greensboro, North Carolina, each year 10,000 students choose and are chosen by a unique educational institution. Located among other prestigious institutions, large and small, it maintains proudly its own tradition of excellence based upon a history of service and achievement. It was chartered by the General Assembly of North Carolina in 1891 as the State Normal and Industrial School. The first students in 1892 and for many years to come were women. The school was the result of the crusade of Charles Duncan McKeever on behalf of women's education. McKeever served as president from 1892 to 1906. His ideals of personal achievement, academic excellence, and education for effective living have remained to guide the institution throughout its history. McKeever's ideals flourished in the institution, and the institution grew. It grew from a student body of 223 and a faculty of 15 to a student body of 10,000 and a faculty of over 600. It grew from a 10-acre campus to a campus of more than 150 acres of developed and wooded land. From $30,000 in bonds by Greensboro citizens for the first building, it grew to a campus of 75 buildings valued at more than $105 million. From an operating budget of $10,000 in 1892 to an operating budget of over $30 million, it grew. From three departments, it expanded into eight colleges and schools, with 89 areas of study from which majors may be chosen. And as it grew, it changed. It changed from the state normal and industrial school to the North Carolina College for Women. In 1931, it was merged with the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and the North Carolina State College of Agriculture and Engineering at Raleigh when a multi-campus institution was designated the University of North Carolina. Now named the Women's College of the University of North Carolina, the institution developed for three decades with its affiliated institutions as a unit in the capstone of higher education in the state. In 1963, a new name, the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, signified even greater change to come. Change that brought new buildings, change that brought men to campus, change that brought men and women into new undergraduate and many new graduate programs, change that resulted in increasing numbers of commuters, minority students, and adult students, giving it the most diverse student body of any of the once all-white state normal schools, change that produced a complex, multifaceted, comprehensive institution with urban benefits and urban problems. On June 11, 1891, Major Sidney M. Finger announced to the citizens of Greensboro that the new school would be located in their city. And this is what he said. I believe it will grow into a great state school, not for the poor people alone, but for both rich and poor. I believe and hope that the institution today located here may grow into a school for both sexes. There will be other similar schools but they will come hereafter. Yours is the first. And what he said came to be. Expansion of the University of North Carolina to include 16 state-supported institutions of higher education has made more striking the history of this institution, which through the changes of 80 years played a special role in the educational life of the nation, the state, and the city whose name it proudly bears. To have changed often is to have grown much and UNC Greensboro has grown much. Embodied in these times and places and people flashing like phantoms before your eyes are the manifestations of the institution's traditions, its vision and commitment to the needs of individuals and society. The institution's highest priority is to provide opportunity for the fullest possible development of each student as a liberally educated person. Its administrators reveal their commitment by continuing to teach in either regular or special classes. Its administrators and faculty value student achievement first, an excellent ratio of students who graduate in relation to the number of students who enter, a successful rate of placement of graduates in program-related jobs, an impressive level of job success of graduates and of alumni support. 
Its administrators, faculty, and students prize the high degree of direct student involvement in the academic, social, and cultural life of the university. Large enough to offer comprehensive programs, it remains small enough for each person to feel a vital part of the whole. For each student, there is a complete and coordinated support system to help in the process of individual change and growth. Guidance and assistance come from the admissions office, academic advising, financial aid, health service, counseling and testing center, career planning and placement, office for adult students, campus ministers, veterans affairs, each student's personal faculty advisor, and from many individuals and programs in the student affairs office. And social and cultural development are also a part of the flowing, continuous pattern of campus life at UNC Greensboro. Athletic possibilities range from intramurals to a student-oriented intercollegiate program fielding 12 different teams. Departments and the Elliott University Center sponsor concerts, lectures, workshops, and film festivals. A host of extracurricular activities are available through a strong student government association. At the heart of campus life is the curriculum and interaction of student, subject, and faculty. And central to the curriculum is the College of Arts and Sciences. Eighteen departments and many specialized programs in languages, the arts, reasoning, communication, mathematics, natural science, social and behavioral science, and humanities. Studies in the College of Arts and Sciences required of all students consist of the skills and knowledge which enable a person to examine critically the traditional wisdom of our culture and to develop an informed world view. For those students who desire professional academic work, the university provides education in key professions. Education was central to the vision of Charles Duncan McKeever, and since its inception, UNC Greensboro School of Education has maintained a position of leadership with major degree tracks through the doctoral level. Business courses were also a part of McKeever's first curriculum, and today the School of Business and Economics, housed in an impressive new building, is one of the fastest growing units on the campus, with over a thousand majors. Home economics subjects were emphasized with the first class in 1892. The Bachelor of Science in Home Economics was offered as early as 1911, and the School of Home Economics has held a position of national eminence for many years. The research emphasis of the school is especially prominent, ranging from field studies of Bolivian food patterns to the serviceability of inherently flame-retardant sleepwear fabrics. Vocal music was part of the institution's original curriculum, and by 1907, a Bachelor of Music was being offered. The School of Music has been an accredited member of the National Association of Schools of Music since 1938, and the many successes of its graduates constitute a record of outstanding achievement. Nursing was first introduced into the curriculum in 1911, and a degree program was approved in 1918. Today, the School of Nursing's baccalaureate and master's programs are fully accredited by the National League for Nursing, and the excellence of the school in meeting its educational objectives is demonstrated by the fact that since 1970, its graduates have a 95% passing rate on the State Board of Nursing examinations for licensure for registered nurses. Academic work and health and physical education was introduced in 1920, and the School of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation now provides a wide range of offerings, including a BS in Recreation, a BFA in Dance, and teacher education programs in Dance, Community Health, School Health, and Physical Education. The first graduate degree was approved for UNC Greensboro in 1920, and now one of the major purposes of the university is to provide graduate study in appropriate subject matter areas as a component institution in the University of North Carolina. The institution is one of three doctoral granting state schools in North Carolina, along with UNC Chapel Hill and North Carolina State in Raleigh. Some of its doctoral programs, such as those authorized for the schools of music and of home economics, are unique in the state. All of its advanced programs generate an intellectual curiosity, a sense of quest on the frontiers of human knowledge that invigorate all of the programs, undergraduate as well as graduate, throughout the university. For decades, UNC Greensboro has been known for the high caliber of its faculty, and intellectually inquisitive and innovative faculty is necessary to support the research required of a comprehensive university and the stimulating and effective teaching that is historical to the institution. 
Creative and research efforts by members of the faculty are an integral part of university life, and the university's scholars and artists have made major contributions in advancing their professions. Essential to a comprehensive research and teaching institution is a good library. The Walter Clinton Jackson Library is a contemporary facility with more than one million volumes. And through its computer interconnected cooperative contacts, it can make available almost any work a student or faculty member may require. The Piedmont, a 10 county steadily growing area of over 800,000 people, is now one of the nation's significant metropolitan areas and UNC Greensboro plays the vital community role predicted at its founding. To offer educational services and cultural opportunities to the people of the state beyond the campus is now one of the primary institutional goals. Summer and evening programs serve the wider community of potential students, as do the dynamic continuing education programs which bring together campus and community resources so that each may benefit from the other. The MBA program in the School of Business and Economics has been particularly successful in serving the needs of the community. It enrolls almost 400 students, 80% of whom are fully employed at prominent industries in the Piedmont. Individual faculty knowledge and effort also enrich the community. Most of the principal players in the Greensboro Symphony Orchestra are members of the School of Music faculty, for example, and other creative students and faculty share their visions with the community as well. The theater division of the Department of Communication and Theater offers more than 60 different productions each year to a total audience of more than 125,000, including thousands of children who delight in the offerings of the theater for young people. The University Concert and Lecture Series offers 36 programs annually, with approximately 40,000 patrons who come to see guest artists, such as the distinguished playwright Edward Albee. An additional 20,000 patrons attend an average of over 20 Elliott University Center programs each year. The total impact of university activities on the community is incalculable. University, community, faculty, student, administration, citizen are wedded in an intricate, invaluable relationship. No individual person, no single student, administrator, faculty member, nor citizen can experience all of UNC Greensboro. Each, like you, watching now, only samples its diversity. But there is one constant felt by all, the continual challenge of meaningful growth. The base is strong. The future is alive with promises to be seized. Each year, this beautiful campus offers its promises anew. This year, you may be one of those who accepts and agrees to more effective living.